welcome you all for the online video session on the CMOS VLSI design in the circuit design process uh, streak diagram. So myself, uh, Srishail Prakash Swami, working as assistant professor from uh, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. The learning outcomes. At the end of this session, the students will be able to understand different MOS layers, understand the rules of stick diagram for CMOS logic, draw the stick diagrams for NAND and NOR gate using CMOS. These are the contents. In this session, we, uh, we are understanding MOS layers, rules for stick diagrams, stick diagrams for NAND and NOR gate using CMOS. VLSI design flow process. The first step is Boolean expression for the CMOS logic. Then schematic diagram using NMOS and CMOS. Then third step is in the VLSI design process is stick diagram. Then uh, the last step will be the layout diagram using monochrome and color code. So in this session, we are highlighting on stick diagram using color code and monochrome. In, uh, the MOS layer introduction. MOS design is aimed at running a specification into MOS for processing silicon to meet the design specification. The MOS circuits are formed on the four basic layers which are isolated from one another by the thick or thin silicon dioxide insulating layers. The MOS layers in the CMOS logic VLSI design process, processes are the N diffusion, second one is P diffusion, third one is polysilicon and fourth one is the metals. Thin oxide mass region includes N diffusion or P diffusion and transistor channel. The color coding used for different MOS layers are mentioned here. For the P well, the it is mentioned by yellow dotted line which is shown here. Then second one is for N well, it is mentioned with the help of green dotted line. Then for preparation of P, uh, P MOS, there is a P diffusion we have to use which is mentioned by the generally the blue color and or orange color. Then N diffusion is mentioned by the green color. Then polysilicon that is used for preparation of the gate that is orange color or red color. Then for different metals, metal 1, metal 2 generally blue color. Then for contact there is a black color. Then for wire black color is used. Then to separate out the PMOS circuit and NMOS circuit the demacration line is used which is shown by this dotted line. So these are the color codes used for stick diagram. So we will uh, discuss now stick diagram. So what do you mean by the stick diagram? A stick diagram is a cartoon or skeleton of a layout. It shows all components or wires and the relative placement of the different NMOS, PMOS, polysilicon, metals. It does not show the exact placement. It should not, does not reflect the transistor sizes. It should not include any wire lengths. It should not show any wire width or tub boundaries. The stick diagram can be used to convey the layer information through the color codes. The stick diagram will act as the interface between the symbolic circuit and actual layout. So symbolic circuit means whatever the schematic related to a particular logic. So here one example is shown which is the symbol of NMOS. So, the NMOS, this is called as symbolic circuit or schematic. In the layout, this, uh, this is what the NMOS, okay, where the N diffusion is there and over there is a polysilicon which represents the gate. So this is what the we have to use in the stick diagram. So the next will be the stick diagram and for that the rules are mentioned here. So for metal one or metal, the blue color line, blue color is used. For polysilicon, which is used for gate, that is for uh, by using the orange color or red color, then N diffusion, green color, and P diffusion by yellow color. So there are total 
four rules are there for drawing the tree diagram for CMOS logic. Rule number one: When two or more sticks of the same type crosses or touches with each other, that represents the electrical contact. Means suppose here in this example, there is what the metal, and here is also horizontally metal. When they are meeting at this point, automatically it forms the electrical contact. Here the polysilicon, two polysilicon, because both are the same, same type. So when crosses or touches each other, it will forms the electrical contact. Rule two: When two or more sticks of different type crosses or touches each other. there is no electrical contact which is shown here okay so here the horizontal line is metal and the vertical line is polysilicon which are the two different types so when they are crossing or meeting at this point it will not form any electrical contact if you want to mention that as electrical uh, contact then you have to explicitly add the contact at this point rule 3 when a polysilicon crosses the any n division or p division it represents the mosfet if polysilicon crosses the n division it will forms n mos if it is crosses the p division then it will forms the p mos so here the n n mosfet will be there here the p mosfet will be there and here this is what the depletion type n mos will be there so these first two are the enhancement type n mos and p mos last rule in a cmos a demarcation line is drawn to avoid the touching the pmos circuit with n mos that is what all pmos circuit must be lie in one side of the line and remaining n mos circuit will lie on the other end other side of that demarcation line which is shown which will separate out the pmos circuit which is generally in the pull up network and n mos circuit generally in the pull down circuit now these are the color codes used for drawing the stick diagrams uh, for p division yellow color for n division green color for polysilicon orange color or red color for metal one blue color for metal contact the blue uh, black color then for uh, depletion this is the uh, p well n well then demarcation line so here uh, p mos enhancement transistor so second one n mos transistor then third one is the n mos depletion transistor so these are the uh, color codes we have to our symbols you we have to use for drawing the stick diagram so we will take the example the stick diagram for the basic building block of cmos logic that is our cmos inverter so first draw the uh, power supply rails as shown in figure 1 vdd and ground and keep the sufficient space between these power rails supply rails so that we can draw the pmos circuit and nmos circuit there should be the sufficient space is required then draw the demarcation line exactly at the center so that we can separate out the pmos circuit and nmos circuit so here draw the enhancement type pmos in the upper part and draw the nmos in the the next uh, bottom part of the uh, demarcation line so this is what the second figure so in the third third figure draw the or uh, extend the polysilicon so that we can connect or we can give the in input for at the gate terminal and uh, next in the figure number 4 connect the drain terminal of the nmos and drain terminal of the pmos it should be getting shorted from where we are taking the output then in the figure number 5 the output we are taking from the common drain which is shown here the b is the output here now in the figure number 6 the source terminal of pmos is connected to vdd power supply and the source of nmos is connected to the ground now in the figure number 7 we have to add the contacts wherever the two different metals are touching each other at that point the metal the contact we have to add so here obviously this is the metal vdd is the metal and this yellow color is the p division so these are the two different type of materials so meeting at this point so we have to add the contact here 
similarly at the bottom part at the ground there is a metal and this green color is the end diffusion which is meeting at this point so contact we have to add similarly the p diffusion both drains are shorted by metals and the polysilicon is taken here so for that the p diffusion and metals are crossing at this point so contact we have to add so here connect the contact cuts where the different metals are connected so in the figure number 8 that will gives the stick diagram for final cmos inverter so this cross indicates what the substrate generally the substrate is the fourth terminal of nmos or pmos it is connected or it is attached to the source terminal of the respective nmos or pmos so that is shown by the cross so this is what the final stick diagram for cmos inverter now next the stick diagram for two examples we can take nand gate and nor gate so this is what the final stick diagram for cmos nand gate which is shown here in which they, we require total two nmos and two pmos so in the pull up network the two pmos circuit will be there which are parallel to each other and in the pull down network the two nmos circuit will be there which are in series so according to the based on the layout of the nand gate we can easily draw the stick diagram for nand gate so this is what the stick diagram for the nand gate so next this is what the example of nor gate where the layout is also shown so based on the layout it is easy to draw the stick diagram so in the nor gate we have to use the two pmos and two nmos so two pmos in b will be in the upper part that is what pull up network in which the two pmos will be connected in series and in the pull down network two nmos will be there which are connected in parallel with each other so that they uh, it is easy to draw the stick diagram so this is what the cmos uh, nor gate stick diagram so these are the references cmos vlsi designed by neil h e west and principle of cmos vlsi designed by neil west kamran ishragen Thank you.